in terms of on the topic of Bitcoin layers, there's also this relationship between stacks miners and Bitcoin miners. Can you talk a little bit more about the game theory there and any potential attack vectors between the two? Yeah, I think I think uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting topic. We have thought a lot about it. But before I get into this, uh, let me point out something that is, that's kind of like funny. So there are some people out there, uh, you know, we, we know that some of the more radical folks in the Bitcoin community don't like uh, uh, some of the work that is happening in this ecosystem. That's totally fine. But some of the a funny thing is that the same people who would argue that Stacks is not a Bitcoin layer would also argue that Bitcoin miners can impact Stacks consensus. Both of those things can't be true. <laughs> either, either it's not a Bitcoin layer, meaning that you know it has nothing to do with Bitcoin. That's why it's not a Bitcoin layer. Or you know the the the, the miners miners uh, a connection doesn't exist, right? So you can't argue both that this thing is not a layer and also Bitcoin miners can do something bad here. But interestingly, both of these things are, are, are not true. It's clearly a Bitcoin layer and uh, the potential attacks that do exist, we have thought a lot about those attacks and, and the worst case scenarios for those attacks aren't, aren't that bad at all actually. Uh, so one particular thing that recently came up is that what if, uh, because stacks miners are bidding by sending Bitcoin transactions, but those Bitcoin transactions are included in blocks by Bitcoin miners. So what if a Bitcoin miner decide that I'm gonna censor uh, the stacks mining bids, right? So what you're effectively doing is you're pushing other bidders out and you're saying, I will be the only bidder. Uh, and the stacks miner basically becomes the STX miner. So if you play that case up, first of all, it's totally possible. That would be a censorship attack. It's not a very nice thing a miner would do, but if you know there are economic incentives, maybe they'll do it. So if a miner does that, uh, the miner is doing that for economic incentives. Right? That would mean that other miners would also want to do it. So let's say all miners are doing it. That's the strongest form of the attack that now all Bitcoin miners are effectively saying, you can't bid in my block. I will be the only party who's going to bid. If that happens, uh, proof of transfer basically becomes a variant of merge mining. Uh, and, but it's actually, I would argue it's better than merge mining because a hundred percent of the so Bitcoin miners are participating in mining. So at that point, like stack security is as secure as Bitcoin because to be a stacks miner, you have to be a Bitcoin miner. Like only Bitcoin miners can mine, mine stacks which is a very, very strong security guarantee. A, a downside of, of that is that the Bitcoin yield that uh, the stackers are getting would go down because the Bitcoin miners don't have any incentive to bid high. Right? They could actually bid very, very low or minimal and, and, and that yield would go down. And someone described it pretty well that you can think of the yield as almost like a, uh, a Bitcoin bond where when the yield is going down, in a way, stack security is going up, right? And, and on the extreme end of the curve, basically every, every Bitcoin miner is, is mining stacks and stacks is secured by 100% of the Bitcoin. Oh.